guys and welcome back to our channel what's up you guys and welcome back to currently building generational wealth lifestyle i am one of your hosts the one the only the flyers on today i am danielle bailey and of course god is the ultimate host what's up you guys happy monday i hope that everybody had an amazing monday thus far and if you did not have a good day what i want you to do is i want you to speak over there and i want you to speak life into your day like we are not claiming that bad day we're only going to claim a good day and we're only going to claim a re the rest of the week to be amazing too as well so we must start using the authority that we have and really and truly commanding our day and our life to go as planned you guys so i am excited about today's video because this is a update um, of the 75 hard challenge that I have um, that I'm actually doing right now I'm recording this video on day 15, but I am going to discuss day 7 through day, through day 14 because those days I have already completed in the bag yes um so but before i jump into today's video make sure y'all like share and subscribe to this youtube channel and make sure y'all leave a comment um share this video with anybody that may be contemplating doing a 75 part challenge who may be um a person of color and who may be a little bit on the heavier side when i did my research on 75 part i really saw a lot of caucasian people and they were smaller than me and so i was just like what 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 a fat black people at? <laughs> I was like, where y'all at? You know? So um, but so that's why I'm really and truly documenting it because I want to be able to um throw my throw my experience in the ring too as well, you know, so that people can when you look at this video, like I am really and truly gonna be transparent with you guys about my days so that y'all something can be said that you can relate to and that can encourage you and that can really and truly give you the motivation to start if you wanted to start so the challenge is it was created by this guy named andy for i know i am saying his name wrong but that is all right i'm gonna drop the um in the description box i am going to put a link to his actual website where you can read about it so he created this challenge and you do it for 75 days and you follow five to six simple rules and if you mess up on any of those rules that you did not complete that day you must start over from day one all right so that's the that's the kicker you have to start over and so um the, here are so here are the rules i hope i get them all rattle all of them off but um, I have a checklist that I actually go over and it's on my phone. So I, I record on my phone. But nonetheless, y'all, so you must, one, drink a gallon of water. Two, you must have two 45-minute workouts and one of them must be outside. You must take a progress picture. You must drink a gallon of water. You got to follow a diet, no cheat meal, no alcohol, read 10 pages of a, um, like a entrepreneur book of a self-help book or whatever you know you got to read 10 pages of that and you must do that every day for 75 days did i say gallon of water drink a gallon of water because i need to, i got to fill up my water by the now um but nonetheless yes you must do that for 75 days y'all and i want to say um i'm ex excited you scared still you know i i can't think of the word i don't have a word for it yet but I am, I'm still interested in the challenge. Let me say that I'm still interested in it and I'm still, you know, um, on the side of excited about it. I am learning doing this challenge too. Like that is what I am really and truly um, going to focus on doing this challenge is me learning about myself me learning about the things that I'm capable of doing, me learning about pushing myself, and me learning about how to show up for myself every single day. Showing up for myself does not just mean to show up for the good times. Showing up for myself is also meaning that I need to discipline and make sure I discipline myself at the same time too. So um, that's what I'm more excited about. I'm really trying to take this in and I'm trying to use this 75 days to learn as much as I can. And I'm hoping that it, it spills over into my personal life when it comes to my business and all of that. Um, so, but nonetheless, the first, these last seven through 14 days has been, they've been okay. 
Okay, um, I will say that my knee from day okay, so day seven, I was so I was supposed to go mall walking, but I ended up having to cut it short because the mall um closed early. And so I came home and I did some deep stretching yoga. Child, y'all, that dog on yoga hurted my knee. I did not feel it the that day. I felt it, I felt it like on Monday. Cause I did it on Sunday and I started feeling the effects of it on Monday. And when I tell you my knee hurt it the whole week. And so I was just like, oh my God, like I'm walking. Like why is my knee still hurting and stuff like that or whatever. And so I was just like, by Thursday, it was, it was hurting so freaking bad. I went to the walking trail on Thursday morning and I did not want to get out the car. I was just like, yo, I'm, I, I can't do it. I can't do it today. And so something was like, no, get up and try it anyway. So I got out the car, went walking anyway, prayed a little bit. And by the time, and it started off slow. Like I was walking slow, limping a little bit or whatever. But by the time I was finished, the pain had gone away. So I am entirely grateful for that. I'm grateful that I actually tried, that I actually put a foot forward, and I'm actually grateful that my knee actually started to stop hurting. I just think that it was extremely stiff or whatever. So I don't know, but I am I'm good now. So that actually happened last week. So that showed me that hey, you can push through the pain, and hey, pain is temporary. Like it'll go away. Sometimes you just got to work it out and work through it or whatever. So that, that taught me that. And so what else? So I've been following a plant-based diet. Um, and I actually cooked a few recipes, new ones. I cooked potato soup. I have tried, um, I've been trying a new, some, some new stuff too or whatever. What I tried, I tried kimchi. Um, and it's basically like spicy cabbage and it's a i think it's an asian dish a korean dish i don't know but it's a it's an acquired case <laughs> say that so what else did i do this week um with food oh i also finished a book my very first book that i uh, was reading i've been reading this book for two years y'all not not two years but probably like a year i think but I've been reading this book for like a year, okay? And I finally finished it this week. Um, and I actually, I love this book, actually. Um, it was some good principles, and it's becoming a millionaire's guide's way. And it, it, it put, like, into perspective a lot of things. And he talked about, you know, um, how we need to sow seeds in the um in the world, you know, seeds as far as investments and stuff like that. How he was just like, how can God bless your investments when you don't have bless your seeds of investments when you don't have a seed out there and i was just like what you say now what you say now and so you know but like really and truly helpful and stuff like that so that's my first book and this is the second book that i'm currently reading right now relentless by tim grover um i am this is a book about mental toughness and it talks about um after high performing athletes um, talks about Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne um, Wade, and he was their trainer. And he talked about, um, he's like talking about their mindset and what it takes for them to be at such a high performing person and like the mindset that they have built, the mental toughness that, that they have built. So I'm excited about continuing to read this book or whatever. So, um, yeah. That's kind of like all that happened um, this past week. Let me make sure I got my notes, okay? I told you about the festival. Um, finished my book. Oh, child, let me tell y'all. Jesus, Father's Day. <laughs> Father's Day, Father's Day, y'all. Uh, my mama had cooked, and I want to say this is another time where I'm learning that planning is key and planning is preparation, and I'm actually stronger than I actually think. Um, so my mom had cooked um, fried chicken and dirty rice and some baked beans. So she was just like, I'm just doing a quick meal for the fathers. Here y'all go. Blah, blah, this. And so she was like, come help me fix the food. I was just like, so I got to be around all this fried chicken, all of this dirty rice and baked beans. And I can't have none of it. Everything had meat. Even, <laughs> even the baked beans had meat in them. 
And so um, I went over there and I remember picking up the little chicken. <laughs> I remember picking up the chicken, putting it on the plate and stuff like that. And I didn't eat anything. Like, child, I even wanted to try to, I was like, can I lick a lick crumb or whatever? But no, nope, I actually stuck to what it was that I needed to do. And so I realized that before I went over there, I ate too because I hadn't eaten all day. I realized that I cannot allow myself to go hungry and I go around, you know, um, other other food that I know I'm not supposed to be eating. So like I ate before I went over there and I brought pineapples. Pineapples is my thing now or whatever. And I'm realizing that since I am on no artificial sweeteners, fruit is much sweeter than I actually anticipated. I bought some orange, not some orange juice, but some apple juice. And I can't think of their, the, the company's name, but they're in that little glass bottle. Um, I, it's over there. I'm going to have to get, I'll show it to y'all later. But I bought their apple juice and I am realizing how sweet apples are because their, their apple juice is so freaking sweet. I was like, I need to cut it with some water because it's sweet and it's the only thing that they have is apples. It's not, um... It's an expensive kind too. Um, if y'all, y'all, y'all probably know it. Um, but it's a, it's an expensive kind. It's like where you buy four little glass containers and they're like five dollars. But it starts with an M. I can't think of the, the brand though. But nonetheless, so like I realized how sweet their their apple juice is, and I was like, I need to cut this with some water because this is really sweet. But me giving up artificial sugar um has been extremely extremely helpful and so i want to say that even so while i'm on this journey for the 75 point i am so glad that i am in therapy because i get to discuss this with somebody and like i discussed it with my therapist last week um the challenge and like y'all what i am learning about myself when it comes to obesity and we know, like, you've heard that obesity is a disease. Obesity sometimes is, you know, you can um, you can be, like, become an addict to food, you know, food addiction and all of this other kind of stuff. And I realized, yo, that that's, that's real. And when I started in therapy and when I realized how connected to food I am, I was just like, yo, I'm an addict. I feel like I was like, I looked at them. I was like, I feel like I'm an addict. And so um, I said, because I, when I get sad, I eat. <laughs> you know, when I'm excited, I eat. You know, and so it's just, I, when I'm bored, I eat. So it's just like, yo, like that's what addicts do when it comes to drugs. When they need to cope with something, when life is getting difficult, they go get high. I'm just using <laughs> food, okay? So like, I was just like, oh my God. And that just made me so freaking sad. And um, just the whole overall obesity um, thing and, and realizing the connection that I have with food and how it's unhealthy. And I can remember just, I was, I was like, I became emotional during um, therapy. And so I, was, I just cried. I was just like, oh my God, I can't believe this. And, um, and then I also felt like I was grieving like because now I have to I see what my I see what my arrow is at so now I need to adapt a new life now I need to you know like really and truly cut out artificial sugars and so like my therapist was like artificial sugars is more addictive than crack and I was just like what you say I believe you too so like just having to reprogram my mind on not eating like I used to eat you know what I'm saying? And so, um, that's, that's difficult. So I'm excited to see what this journey, what comes out of this journey, but I'm also scared at the same time, if that makes sense about this journey. And, um, I feel like I'm afraid of it because I have to give up stuff and I have to, you know, so I got to make the sacrifices that I need to make and it can be tough. So like I am going to do a new um, I'm gonna do a new some videos and I and I, I hate that I'm gonna announce this.
but I'm going to announce it, right? Um, I'm going to do videos about um, overcoming obesity and how overcoming obesity is more than just what you eat. Like there is a lot of underlining, underlining issues that when it comes to obesity that people are dealing with as well. So it's like, stop, cause I just feel like people are like, oh, you can just stop eating this. Or, oh, you can just stop doing that. And you can stop eating this or don't eat that or don't eat that. And it's just like, no, it's a little bit more difficult than that. You know, it's a, it's something that I learned here in Louisiana. We eat when it's a funeral. We eat when it's, you got a promotion. Um, we eat when you're happy. We eat when you're sad. We eat when you're bored. Like all of this stuff that, you know, my therapist was like, you're going to have to learn how to, um, celebrate without eating. And y'all, <laughs> cause he was like, I got to learn that too. Because every time, you know, we celebrate or every time I accomplish something, everybody was like, Ooh, let me take you out to dinner. Ooh, let me go get you a drink or whatever, whatever, whatever. And so it's just like, it's a lot, okay? It's a lot. And this challenge is bringing all of that out. Uh, but I'm excited to just see what comes about. I pray that what comes about this is goodness. Um, but even if I fall, even if I fail, you know, some from here or there, um, I'm still going to give it my best. I'm not claiming it, but... I know that it, it that is a reality, you know. Let's just be real. It's a reality. Um, you can win or you can lose or whatever. But I am choosing to win in life and I am choosing to just take it one day at a time. This challenge is really teaching me that. Consistency, that what God, God told me that we this week. He was like, Danielle, um, how you become successful is keep doing the little things over and over. He was like, that's how you become successful. It's not the big old task that, that that people think that they have to do. It's the little things over and over, one foot in front of the other. That what makes you successful. And so I was just like, really? And the 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 also the other ingredients that we need in in that too as well is patience. Besides consistency, we also need patience. We also need grace. So um, all of that is is in this journey. Giving myself grace, being consistent with what I'm doing, um, taking it one step at a time, and enjoying it. Okay. So I'll never, never forget when God told me to um, settle down and enjoy the journey never forget so that's what I'm doing settling down settling into this and I'm gonna enjoy the journey the ups and the downs the good and the bad but we're gonna enjoy this journey and I'm gonna take y'all with me so nonetheless that's all I got for y'all wonderful people on today y'all make sure y'all like share subscribe to this YouTube channel make sure y'all share this um, video with other people because I know that other people are going through the same thing that I'm going through. Why? Because obesity is running rampant up in the United States. Okay? So, <laughs> so make sure you share this with somebody and just let them know what we're doing. And hey, if you want to join on the um, 75 Hard Challenge, y'all let me know in the description box below. Let's become a community. Let's encourage each other. Alright y'all. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.